Well, I want to compile my web browser program. Now, a good background for this video would be my Compiler Challenges playlist. And, of course, this video, Python Embedded Web Browser. That's where I build the web browser. So, let's go to work. I go to my source directory. And here's my source code, pw.py. Here's my setup.py file, a file critical to the compilation process. Now let's go to the command window. Do a dir, and here are my files. Here is setup.py. Let's take a look at its contents. And there it is, py.py. pw.py will be turned into an executable. That is this guy over here. So let's compile this. I tell Python to hand setup.py over to py2exe, py2exe for compilation, and then I hit enter. As soon as I, as soon as I do that, it tells me it's running the compilation process. It tells me I'm missing three non-critical modules. These three, specifically. But don't worry, it tells me. It's creating the executable. So, it then creates a required library and places it into the distribution folder. Then it copies python34.dll from the Windows slash System32 to the distribution folder. Next, it'll copy from here all these files to here with these names. Then from here and in this subdirectory, these files are copied to here. And then a few more are likewise, are likewise copied. Finally, we copy and register some DLLs located here, and these two specifically, to the distribution folder. That's what the compilation process displays on your screen. And we're done. So here are our files, and oh my goodness, we got ourselves a new folder called distribution. Double click on it and you're here. Let's scroll down a tad and here it is pw.exe my Python web browser executable program. I double click and there it is. It worked. Uh, click here and change it to English, and there we go. Now, this isn't perfect by any means. Pictures don't display well when I go to YouTube. Pictures don't display well on the screen. Clearly, more work needs to be done. But it's a start. Now, as an aside, if you go back to setup.py and change your console equal statement to windows equals, not console, but windows equals, and then you recompile, your program runs without a DOS screen in the background. I hope you found this useful and practical. Please share and like. This is George Bull, and I wish you lots of luck. Bye-bye now.